outside. Today marks the first day of our first major multi-day journey. We have been preparing for this trip for weeks. I've been doing a lot of stuff like getting this stuff already, installing these drawers and refrigerator and running all the power and all that stuff. I now have a piece of wood bolted in the back of the car. Oh yeah, check out this action. I have a drawer system. How do you put patches on? On here? Mm -hmm. no, you're gonna need it's Velcro. Okay? See? Gonna... Are you going to miss us? Unfortunately, t-shirts. Lily can't come on this trip. We're going to go to Moab another time. No worries. Plus, we're going to take lots of pictures and lots of video. She is sacrificing a lot to stay home and help mom and help with Evelyn. So the boys and I can go on an adventure. Thank you, Lily. We love you. They love you. Where did the French toast go, Ben? Oh, somebody's breath really stinks. Oh. So we are driving today. It's gonna be at least a 12 hour drive, maybe like 13 or 14 hours, depending on stops and food and traffic and rain and whatever. First stop is Branson, Missouri. Mm -hmm. Cousin's getting wedding. Cousin's getting wedding. Cousin is getting married on Saturday. <laughs> Cousin's getting wedding. And so we're gonna be in Southwest <laughs> Missouri tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday night. And then Sunday, we leave early. And Sunday night, we um, will be in Denver, Colorado. And then Monday afternoon, we're gonna be in Moab for three or four days, or maybe two or three days. And we've got some really, really cool adventures planned. And then we'll make our way down from, uh, make our way from Moab down to Flagstaff, Arizona for Overland Expo West. This is going to be an amazing journey. 1,600 miles, I think one way, 3,200 miles round trip. And that does not include some of the other. It's gonna be crazy. I'll wait until I get to Mississippi to get gas because usually it's cheaper in Mississippi. But today, not the case. It was $2.15 for regular in Alabama and it's $2.50 for regular. $2.50? No. $2.26. I buy the medium grade. It's $2.50 for that. So I guess it's not that big of a difference. One twenty, and it's a little late for lunch. We we're starving, and I wanted to wait until we got to Hattiesburg because we're gonna go to one of my favorite chicken finger places ever, and that's Raising Canes. I love it, and that's not a paid promotion, by the way. So what we do, since we're homeschool, we bring our homework with us. You know, when we're when we're homeschool, I mean, the the purpose is education, right? And uh, you know, if we're going to go on these trips, we can't skip out on education while we're doing that. And learning is important. And if you don't get an education, how do you expect to be successful in the world? Uh, you you look at someone and say, "I'm the boss." And ask them how they <laughs> ask them how but they do it. How do you become a boss without being educated? <laughs> you look at someone and say, a "Really scary smolder." demand that they pay you. The world doesn't work that way. You have to have an education. I mean, there's droves and droves and droves of successful people that don't have an, edu an education, but I would even argue that those people have had an education in something else. Maybe they didn't go to college, or maybe they didn't finish high school, but they received an education somehow, some way. I don't and really want to go to college. 
It's like two years of school. That's junior college. Undergraduates, another two years, and graduate school is another two years on top of that. Six years total, if you want to be a doctor, it's even eight years total, maybe even 10 years. But education is important because the more educated you are, <laughs> the greater the likelihood and the greater ability, really, that you will have to be successful. Education is so important, and I totally, totally agree with having an education. Even if you do like what I did and you get an education in something that you don't end up using, I still think it's important. So anyway, we're driving and doing homeschool work right now. In a minute, we're gonna start reading. You probably have noticed in a lot of the other um, vlogs that we, uh, you probably have heard Harry Potter. We're on the fifth book now. We've read through the first four. What's the fifth book? Do you remember? Uh, Order of the Phoenix. I'm already actually- Is at it the Order of the Phoenix? Yeah. I thought it was, it is, it is. I'm already on the fifth chapter. Of Order of the Phoenix? Yeah. Are you reading it? Yeah, I am. So I'm gonna do, again um again i don't know that i ex i mean i don't expect to have like great gas mileage whenever we're towing a trailer we, st we do like 10 miles to the gallon the problem is is that only lets us get about 250 270 miles or something on a tank we went through this little area and we were going to get some gas here but then i just like drove by and was looking on the map and wasn't finding any gas stations anywhere else and so i um turned around real this quick and made it back here Every time we go someplace, we get people that are asking us about the setup here. We got uh, some young guys back there, and they were uh, they were very, very inquisitive. Hey, though, I have gotten progressively better at backing up this trailer. We're gonna go inside and pee. Shirts. So I decided to get some shirts and I talked to a couple of people on Instagram who said that they would buy them But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to ever sell them. I'll probably give some away I'm just not really sure how I did buy a lot though And when I say a lot I mean like 20 or maybe 30. We're just outside Little Rock, Arkansas Battery's getting ready to die on the camera. So I'm gonna go Walmart right here and I think I might run in there and pick some goodies up in a couple of minutes. Although, I'm probably not gonna do our grocery shopping until Monday. We're a little less than four hours from our hotel tonight. It's about time to get dinner and I think we're gonna grab something at Arby's. Dude, 
you like Arby's at all? Yeah, I like Arby's. How much time do we have left? Like three hours. What are you doing, stretching? No, I'm cracking my shoulder from the bottom of it. Uh. Ow! You're hitting me. Why are you hitting me? <laughs> I'm hungry. Excuse I'm hungry. Me. I'm Noah. Guessed it. Guessed again. It's a pretty sweet little place. What's that weird noise? Is it like water or something? It sounds like water. I think it's like a waterfall or something. There's a waterfall or something outside. And this is our hotel room? Yeah. Yeah? You're gonna end up killing someone. It's time to go to bed. <laughs>